Hi everyone, today we are going to make a plane camera controller. This is part of my dogfight game creation series in which we will create the game that is shown in the background. There are timestamps in the description and a link to a GitHub repository with a final controller code, so you can just use the code as is. Let's get started. For this project I've created a very simple environment. I created a new scene. The scene is made of one root node called main and another node called world. World have one child called scene. Scene has all the objects that are there to help us see the plane movement better. And I've created one camera node and I named it plane controller. Plane controller has a child called plane and plane is just a visualization of our object we are flying. So in my case, I downloaded a 3D model of a plane and I put it slightly under the camera so that it fits in the middle and in the bottom of the frame. So this is the basic setup. I've added a script to our plane controller and I'm going to walk you through this part of the code and then we are going to implement all the functions together so you better understand how this works. So we have two expert parameters for speed. One is the speed that the plane is moving and one is the turbo modifier. In the future we will allow the player to press a button and we will increase the speed of the plane and show some nice graphic um, there are three main axes of movement for a plane. You can see in this illustration how they work. So the roll is uh, the axis in which the wings of the plane go up and down. The pitch is the axis of control in which the plane nose is going up and down. And the yaw is the axis of movement in which the nose of the plane go from left to right. So we want to control all these axes with our code. The parameters are how fast can we rotate in the yaw axis and what's the maximum angle to yaw. And the same goes for rolling and for pitching the plane. The next parameter is the caching of the model itself and it is the play node that uh, I put under our camera controller. and. In the process function, we are going to continuously call these three functions, move, pitch, and yaw. And as you can see, I left the rest of those functions blank. We are going to implement them together. And I left a place here for helper functions that we are going to add um, when we write the main movement functions. So the first one is the move function, an airplane must always move forward in order to create lift. So the move function is going to be a very simple one because this is the behavior we are trying to create. So what we are going to do is simply take our translation. We are going to re remove from it the basis in the z-axis and we are going to scale it by delta and by our speed. So by only doing that, if we start running the game, we see that the plane moves forward. And because we are using the bases, if I go to the 3D scene and I rotate my camera and run it again, you'll see that no matter the orientation of the camera, the plane will, will always fly forward. So let's reset the rotation and start implementing the next functions. What we want to see here is the plane following our mouse cursor. So what I mean by that is if I move my mouse up from the screen center, I want the nose of the plane to go up with the mouse and for the camera to start moving up. And if I move the mouse to the right of the screen center, I want the plane to rotate on the yaw axis to the right and start turning and also 
we want it to start rolling a little bit to create this effect of turning. So for that, we first need to be able to get the distance of the mouse cursor from the center of the screen. So we're going to implement the following function. We're going to call it get mouse speed. It is going to be a private function that returns a vector two. We're going to get the screen center by taking the viewport size and multiplying it by one half. And the reason is the viewport size is the size of the entire screen. So half of it is exactly the center on both axes. We are going to calculate the displacement by taking the screen center and removing from it uh, the viewport, the mouse position on the viewport. And then we are going to normalize it. And the reason is we are going to use these two values in a linear interpolation function. So we want them to be between zero and one. So we simply divide by the maximum value each of them can get, which is the screen center uh, X. And we return this displacement. Now in the pitch function, we'll first get the mouse speed by calling this get mouse speed function. We are going to take our rotation in degrees and we are working on the pitch right now. So we want to move on the X axis. So we take the rotation degrees in X and we're going to add the mouse speed in the Y axis because we want to respond to movement up and down with the mouse. And we are going to multiply it by delta and also by our pitch speed. So this is going to take care of our camera. Now we need to rotate the model to create the effect of the plane itself causing the camera's movement. So we are going to calculate two values. One of them is the amount we want to pitch the plane. It's going to be equal to the absolute value of the mouse speed in the Y axis. And we are going to calculate the direction. And it is going to be the uh, sine of that same value. And then we are simply going to take our model rotation in degrees in the X axis. And we are going to set it to the linear interpolation of zero, our maximum pitch. And the value is going to be amount. And we are going to multiply it by the direction. And now if we run, we'll see that our plane moves up and down following our mouse. We're going to do exactly the same. We're actually going to copy the first two lines and paste them on yaw. But now we're going to go back to our chart and you can see that our yaw is the Y axis. So we just need to change this to Y and the mouse speed on the X axis. And this is immediately going to take care of our uh, yaw from, for the camera. But we now want to simultaneously roll and yaw the model. So because this is going to be slightly longer function, I would implement it in a different location. And I'm going to call it roll and yaw model. It is going to get the mouse speed in the X axis, which is going to be a float. It is going to get the delta, which is also a float. And it is going to return nothing. And we're again going to copy these two lines because we are going to take the mouse speed X and calculate its absolute value and direction. And we're going to copy the line that actually applies it and we're going to do it once in the y axis and we're going to use maximum yaw and again 
to the Z axis and we are going to use maximum roll and we are going to go to the plane controller and you can look at those values I set them up uh, for my model um, you need to play with them a little bit for each plane to make it feel like the plane is actually moving and if I press run now you'll see that the plane is following my screen and I forgot to call this function so just I'm gonna call it here with mouse speed in the X axis and Delta and now when I run you can see that the plane is always trying to point at my mouse and it gives the effect of the plane actually flying and I'm gonna go do a, some flyby by those boxes and you can see it gives a very natural movement here I do a loop and I can control the movement it seems really nice and that's it you saw here that with a very basic coding we get a very complex behavior and I think it is a pretty nice plane controller and I hope it will help you in your projects And that is all for now. In the next parts, we are going to implement the trail renderer, the exploding targets, and everything else you see in the footage. So feel free to subscribe if you want to see the next parts as they come out. As always, if you have any questions or suggestions, write them down in the comments and I will answer them. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.